always complaining that he's cold. And I'm like, you just, I went downstairs. Hi, how's everybody doing? Welcome, how are you? This is Deb, and she's going to be joining us on meditation today, and we're coming together. My name's Rebecca Packard. We get together every day at 2 p.m. Eastern to share intention for peace. We hold this meditation every single day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. We've been doing this for over a year now. Hi, thanks for joining, and we are taking... Hi, Mr. Darcy, how are you? We are taking two to four minutes to hold intention for peace. Hi, Erica. How are you? And we are going to set our intention wherever you are, whatever you're doing. We're going to take two to four minutes. We're going to hold intention for peace. We're going to sit in meditation, whatever meditation you're guided to, whichever meditation resonates with you, whichever meditation is what you feel the most comfortable practicing, that's the meditation that we want you to utilize because that's the one where you're going to get most connected. And we're going to all hold the same intention and we're going to hold the intention for peace. We utilize the intention for peace because it allows us to have gratitude, it allows us to have abundance, it allows us joy, happiness, and all these other fabulous emotions that we want to be having. It allows us to create a beautiful platform, a foundation, for us to go to that space. And so, let's get started.
Wonderful. I'm so glad that so many of you took time today to join in, to plug in, to reset, regroup, and reground. Deb and I were EMTs on an ambulance for many, many years. Today she works in an emergency room. I stay home with my littles and run two global businesses. And both of us utilize um, our love of meditation and our love of physical activity. She does CrossFit. She's really big in the CrossFit scene and utilizing the space of that, I don't know, what would you call it? Self-care, self-help, self-love. Um, it's self-love. Just like giving back to yourself so that you're able to show up fully. We were just talking about how because her schedules change, she's had to kind of change her schedule with her CrossFit. And she's like, I finally am getting more consistent with my schedule so I can be more consistent with my CrossFit. And you noticed a big difference, didn't you? Oh, you yeah. noticed how it affected you and how you're able to like go out and be more present while you're at the hospital after you've gone to pro CrossFit, right? Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much it affects us when we do physical activity or even be mindful of what we're doing when it comes to meditation, we're in mindfulness, when we're doing physical activity, we don't always see when we're working out, yes, we want to work out and be healthy, but sometimes that is like meditation for some people. For some people, that's where they're able to expel their negative energy and take on and grow into a more positive space because of the endorphins and everything that happened when you're working out and so for her that was a big thing and so she's super excited she's getting back to that but if you haven't already come over to a meditation for peace a Maharishi effect Facebook page you can join us you can share what you're doing for meditation what meditation practices you're utilizing even come over and share what you're doing for physical activities are you running are you uh, I know there's a lot of people that are going to be doing turkey trots because that's coming up with Thanksgiving that's a big big thing I know um, yoga studios there's a lot of yoga studios especially bendy fish yoga in Chichester New Hampshire is having a fantastic um, yoga morning they're going to have a whole yoga sequence um, we were saying um, right before we started, the CrossFit in Manchester is going to be hosting a Black Friday CrossFit event. Like, where are you able to get out and pour into yourself? Where are you able to show up for yourself in something that you love, in something that inspires you, in something that pushes you a little outside your comfort zone, but also benefits you immensely when it comes to physical activity, emotional support, and just general self-care. It's super important. So it's very exciting. If you haven't... Um, started a self-care practice, come over to my website. You can find me at RebeccaPacker.com. I have a free self-care course you can take. It'll show you the five areas where it's important to fill your cup and be focused on self-care. It also has different tools and tips you can implement to create your own self-care um, ritual practice. Like what are you doing for your own self-care practice? And if you need help with that, reach out. I help people set up their own self-care um, rituals and practices that fit their schedule, fit their lifestyle, and fit their needs. Because I know there's a lot of different information in a lot of different places and people get overwhelmed and they're like, what do I do? So I'm always here to support you on your journey. Feel free to reach out and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow.